well as being a bona fide Geometry Dash trigger genius. You may not know, I'm also a huge synthesizer fan. I own a few and have coded my own before, so building one inside Geometry Dash seemed like a perfect goal for me with the new 2.2 features. And here it is. This is the MS-22, a synthesizer built within Geometry Dash. Abusing the newly added SFX trigger has been done before. This synthesizer works by abusing the SFX trigger to play tiny snippets of sound so fast that we hear them as a musical note. By setting a sound effect to loop, and picking the start and end points only milliseconds apart, we can achieve loop speeds fast enough to be heard as pitch. What pitch we hear is determined by this formula, so by changing the end point of the loop, we can change the pitch we hear. Unfortunately, since we can only type in whole numbers, the range of pitches we can achieve is quite limited, and it doesn't resemble a typical musical scale. It was hard to find parts of the new stock sound effects that sounded any good when played this fast, but Wood 08 saved the day here, and it sounds fantastic. Using the Edit SFX trigger, we can dynamically change the volume of other sound effects over time. This allowed me to create a very rudimentary envelope. An envelope describes how a sound changes over time. So, using these knobs, we can control how quickly each note fades in or fades out, which can drastically change the character of the sound. While there are a surprising amount of reverb algorithms included in the sound effects trigger, there seems to be no way to modify the sound after the fact, meaning classic synthesizer features like a filter are sadly impossible here. The MS-22 features two voices, so we can have two parts playing at once. Each voice uses a different initial grain as its sound source, so they have quite different vibes. On top of this, there's a tempo control and a reset button. This level uses the new platformer mode, which means there's no time limit, which is great for minigame-ish levels like this. The downside is that there'd be no way to actually complete the level, since there are no goals. So I added a timer that allows you to complete the level by holding down some buttons if you've been playing it for at least 200 seconds. I'm sure over time, a standard will emerge of how these platformer minigames will work, so I'm really interested to see how that unfolds. I'll close off this video with a clip of me making a patch from scratch on the synthesizer. Thanks for watching.